very solid. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to look at a couple of your positions during the golf swing. This is the setup, the one position. There's a lot of things I like about this. I like the fact that you have very good extended arms right here. Your elbows are close together. I like that a lot right there. Excellent. The thing I want to address uh, probably the most will be um, your grip. I know you've made some improvements there, but um, I think there's still um, we're still short of what it needs to be in order to maximize your performance. I think, I think your ball striking will become much easier once I give you a perfect grip. We're moving in the right direction with your grip, but we need to finish it up now. We need to make every part of your grip perfect. Now I'm going to take you back to the three position. When you get to the three position, I would like you to be just a little closer to Grant. You can see how Grant's shaft is, is here when his left arm is parallel. He almost has a right angle. And you haven't really hinged your wrist properly. You don't have a lot of wrist hinge and, and you haven't created a lot of angle between the shaft and your left forearm. Um, and a lot of that is the grip, but also it's a particular technique of hinging the wrist that I need to show you. Uh, this is also why your right arm is so much higher than your left arm in this picture, and I'd like to have that right elbow down a little bit better. Once you have your hands uh, reacting correctly through a golf swing, that's when you start getting you'll start getting effortless power. So we're going to spend a, a lot of time on that next time, and we'll be doing it through the short game, uh, the chipping, pitching. I know we're going to work on the putting and, and short game. And we're going to do more of that next time. But uh, when we get to the chipping and pitching, we're, that's when I can show you the wrist hinge and show you the correct grip. Now I'm going to move from the three position up to the top of the back swing and then through the down swing. It starts to release the club into the golf ball. Nice extended arms. He's on his left side. Good extension right there. Driving to the left. Pretty good extension there in your arms. As you come through, your left arm here has a tendency to start flying away from the body. Grant keeps his left tricep, his, his upper arm is still hugging his side. He could, he could be holding a towel under his armpit right now and squeezing that towel with his armpit on his left side. And your left armpit is opening up. And um, when you get to here, your left hand is still up in the, is above the right hand. When Grant gets to that position, he's, his wrists are crossed and his left hand is underneath his right hand. So he has extended arms here, wrists are crossed, hands, uh, arms are, are extended and elbows are close together right in front of his chest mainly because he's also turned his right pocket and right knee right on top of his left foot. And you've, you're trying to turn your upper body, but you really aren't turning the lower body much at all. It's not getting on top of that left foot. So you need to re release this back foot, get on top of your left foot when you get to this position. When, you're, when your right hand gets parallel to your shoulder, I would like to have a nice extension in the arm and uh, have your, your lower body your, on top of this left foot. Now I'm going to show the stick drill. Now, instead of using Grant, I'm going to use Evan as the swing model. Um, in the setup, Shannon, you're, you have a good extension in your left arm, just like Evan does. Uh, but Evan has a shaft position that's almost in line with that left arm, and that's a better... You have a little too much angle here. Your hands are maybe actually too far in front of the ball. So I would like to have uh, a shaft angle uh, that's not quite this far forward. I'll take Evan up first to the... 
And then as he starts, he'll start down and bump that stick almost. Um, so I'm stopping him right when his club is at the ground. You, he has a nice straight line uh, in, from the left arm and the shaft, just like he started. He is bumping that stick with his uh, left hip. As you come, as you go back, and then as you come forward, with the emphasis being on moving that left hip toward the stick, you now are hitting the stick. That's excellent. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You're the thing that I like it in this position is you can see how Evan has his spine tilted back, so he's kept his head back. So his head is in this position. Your head is in this position. You have a, a little bit of a spine angle, so you've driven the lower body past your upper body, past your eyes, and you've created that angle right there. So you're you're bumping that stick. You've got this angle here, angle here. All of that looks really good. Now as I continue through the swing, notice that Evan keeps his head in that circle. He's still keeping tilted back. His spine is a little further forward now, but he's kept his head in that circle. As you go forward, you tend to push your head forward as well. So you've got the concept down to the golf ball of moving the hip under the eyes. Your head was in that circle, but you need to learn how to move your, your belt buckle and your lower body under your eyes and not move your uh, head over this way because you end up with a reverse uh, you end up with a reverse uh, spine angle. I want to also show you side by side with Nolan he also, I put a circle around his head when he is getting into he's doing the stick drill he's got the spine angle um, and his head is in that circle. And as he continues forward, he also, like Evan, keeps his head in that circle. So both your sons do a great job of, of keeping the head steady and swing under the eyes and don't let the eyes move laterally back and forth. That's the center of your circle and you want to stabilize that head.